Here's a quick look at the front of the packaging. It says SanDisk Clip Sport MP3 Player. And it's a 4 gigabyte size. It can hold a thousand songs. It can last 25 hours on one charge. And it's capable of receiving an SD memory card for expansion. The features of this MP3 player include it plays music, it has an FM radio, it has audio books, it includes a stopwatch, it does support micro SD memory cards, it plays AAC for DRM free iTunes compatible songs, it has a 1.44 inch LCD display, and it has a 25 hour battery life as well as being rechargeable. And you can see that it comes with a quick start guide that tells you how to use the SanDisk and the functions that it has. It does come with some nice cool looking headphones or earbuds. It does have a USB connection and charging cable. And on the very front of it you see that it has this one face button that says back. It has the four directional face buttons that control your navigation and then you have a little menu button. In the very center of it you do have a red button that acts as the enter button to interface with whatever menu or song that you're playing. If you turn it to the side you have an input jack for headphones and an expansion port for an SD memory card. On the very back you see where it's branded SanDisk and this is a clip. It's pretty sturdy spring-loaded clip. On the other side you have your connection port whether you're charging this device or you're connecting it to a computer and then you have a rocker button for the volume controls. So this acts as a power button. It has a little animation screen with a red background refreshing your media and then you have a menu that says select your language and I'm going to press this center button for English your region I'm going to select North America and now it goes to music you have a radio you have audiobooks your folders a memory card sports which looks like that's maybe where you access the stopwatch and settings then you go back to music so let's just see what music has if you press the middle button you have music and it tells you shuffle artist album songs or genres here you see a song playing it shows the album cover the length of the song where the song is and then the song title and artist it looks like it may have five to seven songs that are preloaded which is a pretty good bonus this little button acts as a menu button and you have your options here if you want to add a song you can go to repeat shuffle music EQ and delete songs now you're back to the music menu. You can go to the radio menu. Here it's set to 87.5 and you can change the dial left or right with the left or right buttons. Here you have your audiobooks. You have audiobooks and podcasts. Here you have a folder, internal memory and external card. So either one if you wanted to access it you could just select that and press the middle button. At the root, you get the different options for music, podcast, playlist, audio books, and audible. And here's card itself. No inserted card, so there's nothing really that you can do at this point. Here's your sports setting. You have a stopwatch, a timer, and you can save these and delete the ones that you save, whichever way that you want to interact with those. And finally, you have your settings. You have system settings, music options, audiobook option, podcast, radio options. So for system settings you can adjust the backlight, the brightness, the power save, sleep, you can customize it. You can have a menu looping. You also have an equalizer. You have replay gains, language, date, time, volume, info, format, and restore. Your different equalizers you have normal, rock, pop, jazz, classical, funk, hip-hop, dance, full bass, full treble, and custom. And your backlight, you can adjust it to 45 seconds, 60, 90 seconds, down to 15, 30, or 45. And I'm going to leave it at 45. Now I do have the older model of this. 
and I'll show you the side-by-side -side comparison. They're pretty similar in size. There's a little bit of color change between the face buttons and the face plate there. One big thing that I noticed is this is sort of a rubberized edge. So, uh, I use this inside of my firefighting turnouts when I do workouts in those. Uh, it's exposed to tons and tons of sweat. Uh, it's dropped several times. You can actually see some damage on the face of it there. The older model has the power button on the top of it and this power button also acts as a lock button. It does look like the older model has a smaller screen and it's not quite as sharp and crisp as the new model does. And I will wrap this up by unboxing the earbuds. And they do have the internal earbuds that go inside and kind of lock into your ear canal. And you also have some replaceable end caps. They feel real good. It doesn't feel like they're cheap and easily broken or pulled apart. So here you have the unboxing and review of the SanDisk Clip Sport MP3 player. Thanks for watching. Okay. Ah, there we go. You're just in time for the. Never mind. Ah, you're just in time for a cool, refreshing, ice-cold Coke, because it's hot out there. <laughs>